In this video, we're going to discuss iteration from an industrial designer's perspective and why it's a critical aspect of not only the design process, but of our success as a species. Let's get started. How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse. So, what am I talking about? Well, simply put, iteration is the repetition of a process. But iterative design is not only the repetition of previous ideas, but the gradual tweaking, modification and improvement of those ideas. When I built my first combat robot back in 2006, it was the best I could design. It had a plywood frame held together with aluminium angle brackets with nuts and bolts. But I quickly discovered that the nuts would vibrate loose during the fights and that aluminium was not the most effective side armor. So I took those ideas forward and learnt to use, for example, nylocks to stop the nuts vibrating loose. And I substituted the light, weak aluminium for stronger steel. I moved from using nuts and bolts to welding the chassis instead and then took ideas that I liked from build logs created by others all around the world. And after many, many iterations over years of trial and error, I arrived at designs that could survive against Australia's most feared machines though I am still learning to make my creations even better. You see, the purpose of this video is not only to educate our up and coming inventors and designers, but to also dispel a nasty notion that I've noticed floating around on social media, especially YouTube. You stole my video idea. You can't do this. I did this first. No doubt you've heard this kind of thing before. And yes, while it's true that copying someone else's work nearly word for word, it's, it's called plagiarism, but iteration, it's not the same thing. So let me give an example. As of 2018, there's sort of two companies vying for the fastest production vehicle, and they are Koenigsegg and Bugatti. So despite personally preferring the Agera RS, we'll focus on the Bugatti Chiron for this example. This hypercar has 1,500 horsepower and a top speed of 261 miles per hour. But it didn't just spring up overnight. The Chiron didn't come to Bugatti's engineers in some fevered dream. It's the logical evolution of the Veyron. And you can actually track Bugatti's history back to the 1920s Grand Prix, when even back then, these companies were experimenting with supercharging of their automobiles. Uh, it's actually a really good documentary. I highly recommend watching that. But you can go even further though, back to the Ford Model T, and then finally to the Benz patent motor car, the first ever automobile. But it's not finally, is it? The concept was just a horseless carriage. We don't say the Chiron has 1,500 horsepower for nothing. Our success and technological prowess as a species is rooted in iterative design. So when you sit down to create something new, you stand on the shoulders of giants and take advantage of their knowledge to further your own innovation. If you get inspired by someone else's work and use it to create something of your own, don't be afraid to release it. Just be sure to give them credit if credit's due and they're part of your iterative process. Here on Maker's Muse, I always state that it's my aim to empower your creativity. And my primary weapon to do that has always been 3D printing. Anyone can take advantage of 3D printing technologies to turn their ideas into a tangible reality, but you never get it right first go. Do not be afraid to iterate, design, test, make mistakes, and learn from them and those before you. Thanks for watching.